Does anybody else have a problem with their portals? I seem to have too many portals. I have a portal for my doctor, a portal for my dentist, a portal for various online shopping companies, a portal for this and that. I just have too many portals. I wish all my portal people would get together and just create one mono monolithic portal for me to save a username and a password because sometimes it's very difficult to remember or fetch my usernames and p passwords for all these portals that I have. Just wondering if it's a common problem to have too many portals. Here we are at Heavenly Album Covers and we're going to look at a couple of quickie album covers um, both Beatle related and um, this is a bootleg um, a very early bootleg I think it's from the 1970s um, maybe as early as 71 or 72 this album is called Yellow Matter Custard that's from the Beatles song I Am The Walrus and this album is performed by the Beatles here and there they are down here this is a really rough looking photocopy Xerox of the cover this is the cover and um, this cover comes in various colors as well as the backing and um, you can find versions of this in almost every color in the rainbow and I used to think this was a recording of the Beatles in Sweden on the radio but I think it's a recording of the Beatles at the BBC in 1963 which I assume has appeared later on in the BBC Beatles sessions there's a great version of um, I'm gonna sit right down and cry Ringo is just insane uh, with his drumming on this track I'm gonna sit right down and cry over you and I could listen to that track over and over forever and uh, let's look a little bit more at this bootlegged Beatles cover it's funny that vinyl bootlegs aren't considered that uh, um, much of a no-no anymore um, you can buy any sort of bootlegs on eBay now and nobody seems to care because of uh, because of things like Napster and Spotify music is everywhere so bootlegging it um, has very little meaning in 2024 here's John and George and they're um, pink and black because the photocopy is pink and black and there's Paul and Ringo Ringo's got his uh, great drum head there uh, that Beatles logo is just fantastic they whoever designed it was a genius it's really great and um, here are the Beatles all together the Fab Four you can barely see Ringo back here whoops I can't focus in on him but he's um, he's back there I can't use my pointer right now the lettering is like uh, rubber stamp lettering it's really uh, strident and vociferous writing up there it's a great font looks almost like somebody just took a stencil and made it with a magic marker the backside is um, not interesting at all after all these years it's still in pretty good shape there aren't a whole lot of fingerprints on it and um, it's a trademark of quality bootleg album and uh, it's got the really plain label with the pig logo right there trademark of quality the riverside is yellow and black also so that's the Beatles yellow matter custard an early bootleg of the world's most famous rock group the Beatles and next we have this happened to be in the same sleeve plastic sleeve as uh, yellow matter custard it's John Lennon's E imagine I think this is a early copy or a very early copy and um, let me pull the lights off this so it's more legible and um, this came out in 
what year 71 also and uh, there's a real hazy faded um, dramatic picture of John Lennon right here he's slightly being obscured by a cloud here I'm wondering if this is the same cloud that's on uh, live in Toronto album and the lettering here is very delicate very bunched up um, the three lines are just crammed together but it's still very readable and it looks like Lennon is wearing a plain t-shirt this cover has a little bit of um, smudginess down here but um, this is a classic totally classic John Lennon cover you know I screwed up this is oh no this is imagine for a minute there I thought it was uh, plastic Ono Ben but we're okay now the back cover is even more impressive in my opinion there's a schmook on there there we go I don't know what that was maybe something fell out of the sky that John Lennon was looking at and um, here's Lennon there's a big scratch here also I'm very picky about albums today album covers and um, here's Lennon he's either on his back or the cover was flipped around the photo was flipped he's got some really heavy-duty sideburns here they just they almost wrap around his ear and come back into his uh, main hair up here his main hair and there's a little quote down here that says uh, from Yoko Ono from 1963 it says imagine the cl clouds dripping a oh imagine the clouds dripping dig a hole in your garden to put them in that's real sweet and uh, here's the lettering the bunched up lettering again with the uh, a little Apple logo here I really like this um, back cover almost better than the front cover and um, this cover is great because you can you can bring down like a protein drink and it looks like it's gonna land on John Lennon's nose there um, the actual inner sleeve is very cool I hate to use that word but it is very cool and um, all the liner notes wrap around there somebody had to typeset that in a circular manner instead of the full Apple uh, photo on the label it's John Lennon looking pensive and thoughtful and um, this is side one the other two does the other um, side does have the the cut in half Apple label and uh, this, al this album is actually credited to the um, John Lennon Plastic Ono Band with the Flux Fiddlers group and um, I really like that tight um, arrangement here it just even with the song lyrics it just goes all over the liner notes and so that's Imagine not Plastic Ono Band and Yellow Matter Custard 